TikTok influencers beware. Today, a House committee voted on a bipartisan bill that could effectively ban the app in the United States if it gets passed by the entire House, then goes to the Senate, then the president signs it into law. The legislation would force ByteDance, that's the name of TikTok's parent company, to sever ties with its host country, China, or be banned from U.S. app stores. The lawmakers behind the bill say apps that are controlled by foreign adversaries such as China collect way too much information on the Americans who use them, use the apps, and pose security risks to the United States. Joining us now, Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher and Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamoorthy. They're the co-authors of the bill. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me start with you. There are more than 170 million TikTok users in the U.S. It's one of the most popular apps in the world. What do you say to them if the U.S. ends up banning TikTok? As I'm sure you've heard from a lot of them today, they are worried. They love TikTok. Well, we hope that they will continue to be able to use the platform once TikTok makes the responsible decision to separate itself from ByteDance. Uh, TikTok can continue to exist in the United States as long as it's not effectively controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. That is the issue, and that will make for a better user experience. People won't have to worry about manipulation of algorithms. They won't have to worry about a hostile foreign adversary potentially manipulating the news uh, that Americans consume. And I would say the pressure campaign that TikTok put in place today, where they forced a pop-up on the app that called members of Congress and also told a lie that we were, we were forcing an outright ban, which this bill is not, proves the danger. They sort of prove the entire point. Imagine if those lies were allowed to spread on topics like our election or a foreign war. So that's what we're trying to guard against. And in our construct, users can continue to enjoy the app so long as we fix the ownership problem. So, uh, Congressman Krishnamoorthy, uh, if it's not an outright ban, what is it exactly and what would happen? Would the app disappear from people's phones or would it just stop being sold by Apple, et cetera? Well, it's a forced sale. That's what, you know, that's what's happened in the past. By the way, uh, a, uh, another app, a popular app called Grindr, was once purchased by the Chinese and basically the American federal government forced the sale of that particular app because, again, the CCP had access to very sensitive data about government officials and military officials. Um, and this is a much bigger problem with regard to TikTok. TikTok is owned by ByteDance. The editor-in-chief of ByteDance is himself the secretary of the very Chinese Communist Party cell embedded in the leadership of ByteDance. And his duty, according to him, is to make sure that TikTok and other products abide by correct political direction. And so that's why we took this action today. The House Energy and Commerce Committee voted 50 to 0 unanimously. That has not happened with regard to any bill affecting this particular platform. And now we look forward to its passage in the House. So, Mr. Chairman, there's a First Amendment fight over this as well. The ACLU says uh, that your legislation is a violation of free speech rights. Uh, the senior policy counsel at the organization says, quote, just because the bill sponsors claim that banning TikTok isn't about suppressing speech, there's no denying that it would do just that. We strongly urge legislators to vote no on this unconstitutional bill, uh, unquote. Um, do you think that the national security threat out outweighs whatever free speech issues there are out there? Well, to be clear, I don't think our bill endangers any First Amendment issues at all. Uh, we're talking about foreign ownership and control of an app. And once that foreign ownership is addressed, not only will people be able to continue to say whatever they want on the app, you'll also have freedom of thought, freedom from fear that your thought might be manipulated because of the opaque algorithm. And for that illogical claim that TikTok is making, to be true than previous incidents where we've addressed ownership, for example, in the antitrust paradigm, would have had a massive First Amendment impact. The breakup of Bell in 1982 would have been one of the biggest First Amendment issues in American history, but of course, it wasn't. So that's, we've carefully worked on this bill for six months. We've worked with the White House to get technical assistance. We are very confident that this is a construct that avoids any issue like a bill of attainder does not infringe on freedom of speech. It's about foreign adversary control of the news and the ability to spy on Americans. It's the same principle. Look, the First Amendment does not protect espionage. It does not protect 
the right to harm American national security. It's the same reason why, under our laws, uh, we prevent a certain portion of ownership of broadcast networks and certain media outlets. It's the same reason why, for instance, a bookstore uh, needs to comply with other rules, even though it sells books and protected First Amendment expression. And so that is what is at issue here. We don't want to censor any type of content. This is not about a content-specific law. This is about um, the manner in which uh, the CCP controls ByteDance, the parent of the platform at issue. All right, uh, Chairman Mike Gallagher and Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, the ranking Democrat on the special committee uh, on the Chinese uh, Communist Party. Thank you so much. Appreciate your taking the time to talk to us today. Hey, thank, thank you. you so much.